Hey guys, welcome to your assembly team. Today I'm going to discuss about irritable bowel syndrome. Irritable bowel syndrome is definitely irritable for your assembly examination. Okay, let me start with this. Please subscribe to my channel. Let me start without wasting time. Functional GI disorder. So it is a disease. It is it is, it is a disease you should diagnose by exclusion. Okay this is very important okay functional GI disorder characterized by abdominal pain altered bowel habits very important altered bowel habits is very unique of this absence of specific and unique organic pathology okay the three things three history because right now i'm concentrating more on us military step two ck and step three so i'm not going deeper into the histological findings or anatomy physiology uh, right, so I will discuss briefly so that it helps you to remember uh, to recall the clinical findings. So there is a pathology. Pathophysiology is a there is a GI motility, visceral hyperalgesia, and psychopathology. So these things, three things, uh, play uh, play a very important role. Okay, do you know about the Rome's criteria, Duke's criteria? Huh? Rome's criteria. Rome's criteria is very important. So what you need to remember the patient says is relieved by the defecation. If the pain is relieved by the defecation, very important. Onset associated with the change in the stool frequency and the onset associated with the change in the stool form or appearance. Supporting symptoms include the following. Altered stool frequency, altered stool form, altered stool passage. There is something going on the bowel, right? That's why these changes occur. Weirdo. Okay. Mucoria, abdominal bloating, and subject to distension. Okay. In the 2009 American College of Gastroenterologist ACG evidence based position statement on the management of the IBS does not recommend does not recommend laboratory testing or a diagnostic imaging in the patients younger than 50 years with typical IBS symptoms and without alarm features so if the patient is ang like a 30 years 25 years i have seen a patient of a 22 years old with the IBS okay so no need to investigate but you ultimately investigate for that right because you think sometimes they, they may give the history of family history of carcinoma sometimes blah 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 so sometimes we investigate without knowing so if they give the clear history of ibs plus age plus without alarm features now tell me what is alarm features what are those recall okay let me help you weight loss iron deficiency anemia and the family history of certain organic gi illness like inflammatory bowel disease celiac sprue colorectal cancer if these features are present investigate okay test what you need to do is a colonoscopy abdominal city if you want to do do it if they give the options out of five you have to select one then do otherwise no need if you're sure on the clinical basis okay how do you treat it first if the patient comes on monday give fibers no after a few months he comes back again to your clinic again to your office saying that your files didn't work doctor so what do you give the drugs antispasmodic and anticholinergic that is a dicyclomane right so we have to give it again after six months or one year he comes and says doctor doctor you're bad doctor your fibers your antispasmodic or anticholinergic didn't help me what do you do so it gives start with a tca tricyclic antidepressants there is amitriptyline very important okay because amitriptyline contains all those things fibers uh, it acts as an antispasmodic anticholinergic and the, uh, the other mechanisms too okay so definitely and it reduces the pain also so very important so this is how remember about the steps first is the fibers then drugs like antispasmodic anticholinergic and the third one is the tca if all fails tca uh, you can encourage the patient to take uh, water, more water intake, and advise the patient not to take caffeine avoidance because caffeine helps to relieve the anxiety because these patients will have anxiety. Okay, so thank you so much for watching my video. If I made any mistakes, please let me know. Thank you, thank you so much, and please do subscribe to my channel. And uh, uh, okay, thank you so much. Take care.